Hello. So I have this little sketch that I did a couple months ago and I haven't done anything with it since so I decided to uh, give it the same treatment as the last one. Except this time I'm going to go straight into blocking in the colors uh, to see how I, if I can come up with the good shapes that way too. This one's going to be a little mouse, and you can see there's going to be laundry hanging from uh, this rib cage. I have this little color palette that I came up with here. I might adjust it, but it's kind of what I was feeling. I wanted more cool colors, because the last one had a lot more warm colors overall. I'm gonna have to come up with I think a third um, a third illustration concept like this because um, it just feels right to have three uh, more than it does to have just two in the same sort of style and theme. So if anybody has 
uh, an animal that you want to see me draw, um, just let me know.
Ooh, I know what I want. I'm gonna have like um like a little dirt path almost going through here. I think that would be nice. So I'm trying to think about um, the other illustration that I want to have in this series because I want at least one more kind of like this. Um, so I'm thinking something at night, a nighttime scene might be nice, or um, or maybe a water scene. I've never really painted water before, and that could be a fun challenge. closed off all the gaps. Mm, obviously I did not. I see it right here. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna change this to be more brown. Toned. Oh, that's overlay. Normal mode. Okay, there we go. Does any of you play Animal Crossing with like the one that came out for the Switch or I guess any of them really? But that's the one that I'm thinking of right now. Uh, I got way into making like little paths and stuff. That's what this is reminding me of.
Oh, I forgot to set my Discord to streamer only to streamer mode. I am sorry. Give me a sec to fix that. Uh, streamer mode. Enable streamer mode. There we go. Oh wow, I glanced over and I guess there's seven of you now. That's pretty cool. Hello! I see. Wait, I see. Are you the one that I played with before? Drawing a mouse with laundry on a ribcage, definitely, definitely one way to draw attention. <laughs> yeah, um, here's the the sketch I'm working from. So I'm kind of, I'm skipping the refine sketch phase today because I want to see if I can do that. Um, I love sketching, but I think that focusing more on the shapes and the colors and stuff will lead to a better uh, piece in the end. So I've um, added, I started with the, the grass and then I was looking at this and I was like, this looks boring. Let's add some dirt. And I was like, well, the dirt doesn't really blend in super great, so let's add more grass over it. Uh, so that's what I've been working on, and now I'm adding some more detail to the dirt. Yeah, ice is in disc and wow, nice to see you. Yes, I stream a few times a week, um, drawing most of the time, and then gaming some of the time. Been working on Dragon Age Origins, which I think I'm actually going to stream on Thursday because I cannot stop thinking about that fight. Uh, and I want to, I want to beat that over. Okay, so this is adding some dimensionality to the dirt. Um, And then I think I want to add some like pebbles. Pebbles. Mm -hmm. I guess a warm gray. Yeah, that works. Oh, and I kind of want the dirt to stretch out more here, this direction. Okay. And 
more above grass grass. Oh, that's going to be covered up by the mouse. A block in the ribs now. And this one's going to be a broken rib that the mouse is leaning on.
bridge the gap. Oh, put, dang it, put that on the wrong layer. Okay. Rips. Okay, I think I know how I can do this. So I'm gonna draw the thing as though it were still attached with just a little gap. And I'm gonna um, use the transform tool and um, rotate it that way. I want this to be on a separate layer for now. Um. There. That way I can have some overlap. want some aging on these bones. Let's do that.
maybe just, uh, no, that looks too soft. Okay, that's a good base texture. I think the ribs are gonna have to be in multiple layers because um, they have those overlap, the overlaps. Which means I'm going to make a folder for it. Ribs.
Oops. Uh, did not mean to make a layer mask there. I meant to do that. Okay. So my roommate and I watched uh, Venom for the first time this week, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, our other roommate is out of town, and so we've been um, watching a few movies uh, well, until he gets back. I don't watch a lot of movies usually, but, um, is Venom good? I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily, like, great, but it's definitely fun, and I think that that's, uh, exactly what it needs to be, is fun. The beginning part of it, I did not really like the main character that much. He was kind of a butt. Uh, and, like, he's still kind of a butt at the end, but in an entertaining way. It was very fun. Other movies that we watched this week were um, Puss in Boots, uh, like the the most recent Puss in Boots, which was very entertaining. Um, and we also saw Nimona. I thought they did a very good job with the animation and design, like the visuals of Nimona. I'm not the target audience, and so I don't, like, 
it's a good movie it's just not necessarily something that like I'm going to rewatch over and over again but I think it's very very good that it exists I wish I had a movie like that when I was a teenager I do wish that they had kept the long hair for the, um, for the male, main male characters. I wish they had kept the long hair that they had in the comics. Um, but that's just because I like a guy with long hair. <laughs> I just realized that this bit of grass is going to be completely covered up by the mouse. Whatever. Maybe I could- ooh, that could be fun! Okay, so what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to have two versions of this. So this, the version that I'm working on right now is going to be like with the mouse and everything and the laundry and it's going to be daytime and then I'm going to have a nighttime version where the laundry is gone and like the mouse is gone and it's all like um, a peaceful night but maybe there's like another creature there. That could be fun. You keep your hair short? I see. Well, I also keep my hair short. Um, it feels better that way to me. Yeah. Uh, grass. Create selection. Invert selection. Go to the correct layer. And then... But yeah, if I make two versions of this, then that means that I can show off the little details that are just going to get covered up. I still want to do a third illustration though with um with the with another animal like a, a third composition I guess I should say That gets completely covered up. I, I need to stop doing that. Um, remember to turn on all the ribs before adding in details. I used to have long hair. My mom was very sad when I uh, cut my hair short like nine years ago and she still hasn't gotten over it. Or maybe she has. She hasn't brought it up.
that's Walter what I need my scatter brush Walter Wet is the brush that I used at the beginning of my comic. Let me see if I can get, uh, kind of show it off a bit. Uh, so the beginning of my comic, I did all of the grays using this brush to get that nice little texture, but it was a pain to get large areas the same value. And so that's one of the reasons why I switched to the technique that I use nowadays. did a double take for a moment heard Walter what instead of Walt yeah um <laughs> yeah uh Walter what no border uh I just keep all of my favorite ones in here because the rest of my brushes scare me too much to actually use them <laughs> look at that look at that scroll bar that's ridiculous nobody needs that many but I have that many It's been 100 and above out the past few weeks, and you have thick hair. Oh, yeah, it's been like 105 here um, pretty frequently. Uh, I haven't been going outside as much as I usually do. My hair is very thin, though, which is nice when it comes to the heat, but it also means that my hair looks really bad most of the time. <laughs> Because I don't do anything with it. I just can't be bothered. Like, I don't even get regular haircuts. I just shave my head every few months. If it works, it works, right? Yeah. I'm just not going to be winning any, like, I guess I wouldn't be in a beauty contest anyways, but I wouldn't be winning one. <laughs> and that's okay. I don't have to look good, I just have to feel good. And I do feel pretty good. Uh, the roommate of mine that's out of town right now has very thick, luscious hair that looks great all the time, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's too hot out. <laughs> Okay, so that's blocking in the ribs. 
the idea is that they're like kind of buried underground and sort of tilted um and then this is gonna be just a uh, rib gunk i guess um so i want to have like moss and stuff growing on some of the ribs For now, I am going to block in the mouse. Now, what color should the mouse be? I've already got a brown. Um, I mean, I've got these colors. Um, that kind of blends in though. I mean, the mouse is gonna have to be wearing something. Okay. Uh, you have to get yours thinned or layered if it's below your ears so you keep it short or long with the side shaved. Long is chin length. Yeah. <laughs> and you wouldn't call your hair luscious, but you have it all in your 30s so you can't complain. Yeah. Uh, I have many friends who, um, do, who, uh, do not have all of their hair. I guess I'll go with this brown for the base of the mouse. The mouse I might do a sketch in first, um, because this, this sketch is nothing. This is, that's just a placeholder. Although... I will learn more if I do it this way, I think. Your hair is like rope. Aww. You've been told it's thick and luscious, but right now it's so bad. Uh, is it because it's hot or just because it feels bad? Like, down below your shoulders, someone help you. So hot. Uh, I mean, you could shave it all off. That's what I do. They don't recommend it, but you could. You think you might. You have a rate this razor. You can't braid. You never planned on having it this long. You just hate people with blades near your face. I get that. I get that. I kind of stopped getting my hair cut regularly because, um, because they kept give it, they kept making it too long. Uh, because I do not get red as male and they refuse to actually bring out the clippers uh so i just stopped going none of your scissors will do it oh yeah because of rope or you're afraid this works on everyone we swear razor on amazon won't be enough you killed your last friend's razor oh wow Maybe, maybe you should, um, maybe you should, uh, keep it, and you could just make an actual rope. I 
I see prefer scissors on top. Oh, hi, Cad. Clippers on the side. You could use the hair to make an effigy. <laughs> this is quite the conversation to walk into, Cad. Yeah. You just woke up from a nap. Laguna has not personally used hair to make an effigy. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out the shape of this mouse. Ears. To be fair, I would not put it past any, like, seven-year-old girl to uh, cut off her own hair with, like, safety scissors to make an effigy. I would not be surprised at all if there was a little girl who did that. <laughs> like, just, just based off of some of the little girls I know. Creep. <laughs> it, Kali, I think I've done that in all seriousness. Laguna says this is why I don't have children. Oh. <laughs> Cad says my daughter wouldn't do that, should donate the hair. You know, there's also a bunch of little girls and little boys and little kids in general who would do that. Let's see, back of head. Ears. Okay. Uh, selection. Invert selection. Go to the correct layer. And then do the ear. <laughs> Laguna, get it away! Garbage, now! He says, I should donate my hair. I did the the last two times it was this long. Uh, Cad says, Teeny would praise a hair effigy, wouldn't she? Yeah. I would not be surprised if Teeny was oh, the little seven-year-old girl who, who would do that. 100% would, would not be surprised. <laughs> You have to braid it first, though. Braids are not that hard, or at least a simple braid is. The, like, really cool braids that some people do, I can't do that, but, um, there's enough that I do know how to do. Kalia says you don't necessarily have to braid it. You could throw it up in a low ponytail, but that might be more painful. Laguna says the literature he was given last time said they wanted it braided. Maybe I'll give this mouse a, a braid. A little braid. Let's do that. In honor of Laguna. Like a little Padawan braid? Yeah, something like that. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I could give Laguna a little braiding lesson. So you take three strands... Like, you, you break it up into three for a simple braid, and then um, you grab one of the... I should make these in different colors. Um, hold on. Braiding... It, impromptu braiding lesson. It's important. Okay, so you've got three strands. 
you take one of the strands, we'll take this green one, and it goes over the middle. And then it becomes the, the new middle one, basically. So then you've got this, and then this, and then this. And then you take the left one, and then you put it over the middle. So then it's like this, this, this. Then you take this one again. <laughs> Right over left, left over right, repeat. Yeah, it just ends up. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was I always wanted like short hair, and I didn't understand why I felt the way I did about myself. Surprise, I'm trans. Um, but uh, but I would braid my hair sometimes because I was like, this is a thing that I that would be different, but not too different, and maybe this will help. It did not help. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, all this behind your head. Uh, yeah, only the first three, then you can pull it over your shoulder and it's a breeze. Yeah, I always did the whole thing behind my head because I didn't figure out the whole pulling it over your shoulder. Um, let's see. When I'm drawing a simplified braid, though, I basically just do this shape. And a little bit at the end. And then you can give it some floofs um, if you want. Let me open up a comic page. This character uh, has a braid. You can see I just sort of did a a little bit there, but yeah. Cat's cradle, bane of young Kalia's existence. <laughs> okay, so in honor of Laguna, we're gonna have a little, this this mouse have like a little braid. You can probably still do Jacob's Ladder. You spent a long time with the book. I bet you could do a braid. You could probably do it. If you have anybody else with long hair in your life, you could practice the like motion on them before you try it on your own hair, and that might help you. Um, so you at least like have the basic without dealing with the not being able to see it. Okay. There's the silhouette. I'm not sure how I feel about this. That helps a little bit. Maybe just like a little, little bit sticking up still. I kind of want to make this an old man mouse. With like a long little goatee and like whiskers. 
Is that too much? Nah, I can do whatever I want. Old man mouse. Beard can be a little braid too. And indeed do whatever you want. Yeah. So this will be a little old man mouse. Maybe I'll have the maybe I'll have some like gray spots on his fur. Okay, so that's just the head part. And this all looks very blobby right now because I haven't differentiated anything, but it'll it'll end up looking uh, nice like the fox did. Okay, um, to give him a little, little bean body, which I will draw clothes over, but first I need the body, um, shape. A little bean, a little bean man. arms are gonna be like behind his head like he's lounging um yeah I kind of want to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because they've got a little rat guy.
the whole mouse a little bit. And then add a clipping mask. And then take the front ribs, select that. And then, okay. He's on the this second rib here. This one. You figured out how to stream Audible over Discord, which is mega hype for book club stuff. Ooh, awesome. Also, Bye Laguna, thank you for stopping in, and I hope work is good. I think he's already gone, but... Okay. What kind of book uh, books are you doing it with book club? You had some people who wanted to listen to the audiobook for do Dune since they did the audiobook like a theatrical performance. That sounds cool. Different voice actors and thematic music. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Twenty six hours of audiobook though. <laughs> That's a lot for a, a book club to do. My sister and my mom are in a book club. And uh they have to be aware of how long the book clubs are. So, like the books. an hour on and off for a month like yeah there are a lot of really good books that are long though You're kind of a Dune fanatic. You've read the book many, many times, plus the subsequent books as well. I've never read it, but I've heard very good things about it.
Okay, that's enough work on the mouse for now. Now I want to do the laundry. I said I would have a laundry mouse with ribs, so I'm gonna, by golly, I'm gonna have a laundry mouse with ribs. What's some of your favorite stuff about Dune? Do you think it's the politics and intrigue and how the actual story is to never trust inspirational leaders? That's interesting. There's a lot to unpack with that book, but Frank Herbert famously said that Richard Nixon was the best president because he, okay, he taught everybody to never trust politicians. Ha! Huh. Everyone just said yes, Mr. President. That's interesting. very important for people in charge to not just be surrounded by a bunch of yes men. How, how are they going to know if their ideas are actually good or not? You know? I would want somebody to tell me if my idea was bad. shape of the laundry line. I guess I'm going to make another folder called laundry. And then I will have uh, the clothes on their own layer and then the clips on another layer. 
Okay. Oh, I didn't even think about what color to make the clothes. I guess cool colors are fine. It'd be like a... Uh... Well, it's relatively cool, I guess, the things. Ah, uh, how saturated. I can always change it later. pieces of clothes are enough for compositionally for this. Then if that's hanging here and gravity goes that direction. Then it would be kind of like this. Which means I have an overlap of the sleeve. But I can easily at least mark temporarily that the sleeve is overlapping uh, this way. Frank Herbert was an environmentalist too. There's a bunch of stuff about saving the environment or changing it for the betterment of the people but mostly a bunch of sci-fi stuff about humans and how they evolve 25,000 years from now. That's interesting. I'll have to see if the library has it. Oh, I bet they do. That shirt is way too big for that mouse. Mouse size shirt. kind of a sci-fi classic, they should have it. We've got a shirt, maybe like, a, well, if the shirt is smaller, I could have other things too, like just a little outfit. But first I need to adjust this shape just a little. Uh, I won't make them all the same color, but I am going to use this purpley color to block it in. Little mouse pants. So I'm going to have it be like a slight breeze, very slight breeze, and it's going to be overcast and cool out, which I understand is not the best for drying laundry, but it's way too hot out. I want to draw a pleasant, cool, cooler scene. Little, little socks, that's a great idea. Little mouse socks. Oh. Definitely gonna have little mouse socks. Little 
mouse socks. Like to mark where the heel and the toe are. Yeah. They are a bit too big, so I am going to shrink them down, but that'll just make them cuter. might shrink down the pants a little too. I guess that'll just be, maybe I'll just draw them big and then shrink them down. Be mouse sized. That's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Walk in the shape of the clips. How's it going? We were talking about dune and braiding and tiny mouse socks. This is where I'm at so far in this, this sketch. Uh, kind of hard to see underneath everything. Here, let me uh, sketch. I'm just blocking in the laundry, right? <laughs> the tiny mouse socks are abyss. <laughs> they are. Plus 1,000 DPS increase. Yeah. to pick the actual colors for them. Um, the socks, they could be a classic white sock. That would be cute. Oh, that's ugly. Um, let me... Yeah, I need the... I guess I can just redraw those lines. Oh, forgot to switch it back to normal mode. Here we go. Classic white sock. Little red tips? Oh yeah, I can do red tips. That would be cute. Let's see. Yeah.
red is a good choice. Okay. And then I need to have um, that you can barely see. Let's pick this color. A little ridging. That's cute. Zill couldn't for the life of me figure out what's a mouse with laundry on a rib cage meant, but now I get it. Yeah, it's a mouse. Uh, a mouse with laundry that's on a rib cage. <laughs> The pants, I'm thinking I'm going to go with, like, a sort of olive green, because I like olive green. Uh, it's one of my favorite colors. And have, like, a little line there. And it'll have little pockets. There we go. Little pants. Little mouse pants. Where it can have cheese in the pockets if it wants. And then the shirt color. It can match the red of the socks. I think that would be cute. Okay. little pink <laughs> cheese in the pockets important yes uh, on in my uh, on my portfolio website I have a, a little about section and it's just a drawing of me with a bunch of cheese in a grocery bag and just like eating the cheese straight out of the bag That's a cute little outfit. The mouse will not be naked, by the way. I just haven't gotten to the clothes yet. <laughs> I think he's gonna have just like laundry day outfit kind of thing. Like, like sweat shorts and a tank top. <laughs> You should do laundry. Yeah, I meant to do laundry today and I haven't. But maybe you could do laundry. Maybe the mouse can inspire you to do laundry. Okay, little, little shorts. Um, all of my shorts are like this sort of bluish color, like that. Um, or they could be basketball shorts. Little, little old man mouse with basketball shorts. We're going with that. Little old man mouse with basketball shorts.
and I can take this reddish color again because sometimes basketball shorts have like two stripes like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, he does have arms. Uh, I just... They, they, they exist. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> they exist, but not right now. Yes. They, they exist, but not right now. Little old man mouse with basketball shorts. Mice have like pinkish toes, but I'm not doing that. I'm not, I don't want to draw that <laughs> today. Not today. Or maybe I will feel like it next time, but... Okay. So the top is like a little... pink top, which means... Hold on. Uh... This is why I name all of my layers. Okay. The paw. If I don't, then I'll never know what anything is. I keep meaning to get a tank top, but I, I forget. Always. Certainly, uh, the, the detailing is gonna make this better. <laughs> don't have the mouse then it looks like that and so like I can easily make a second version of this that's at night time with another creature okay um 
I want to do the rest of the backdrop. Okay. Uh, trees. This will probably end up being another folder full of stuff too. Penny is sitting on my lap right now and she's dreaming. Very cute. So I've been thinking lately about what times I should stream because it seems like, um, I mean, it makes sense. A lot of people are busy during the day. And while I'm not really doing this to get attention, it's nice to like hang out with people while I draw. Um, so I'm wondering like, what times do you think people usually would want to um, hang out while doing, while I draw for a stream. You're free after 8 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah, I, I need to get better about working at night I'm really bad at it I was looking and it seems like a lot of people do tend to watch um, art streams later in the day which makes sense they tend to be more chill and relaxing so something people might want to um, fall asleep to or something um, or just use for relaxing after the end of the at the end of the day
Okay, and then the color for the leaves shouldn't be the same green as the grass, but I don't want it to be too, too different. Maybe like, nah, not that. I guess it could be a warm color. Or I could use this darker green. That might work. Have you seen the latest WoW news? Um, I know that they limited the augment evoker stuff to be four stacks on a person, but besides that, I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know what else has happened. Did they nerf mages again? That's an important question for the mages uh, of, the, of the game. Did they do something to Shadow Priest? Because that's what I would be concerned about for me. Penny, did you just wake up? Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> A triumphant roar. Yes. That's the news. <laughs> If only Cedric were here to witness this glorious moment. Yeah. Oh, I bet I could get Cedric to watch my stream if I told him I would ignore those uh, once for each stream he visited. I don't want to bribe people to watch my streams, though. I just want to hang out with my friends. <laughs> You're gonna be so stoked for him when he gets it. Yeah, I know that I have been tormenting him this entire time, but I am going to be so excited for him. Like, he, he, he deserves it, he needs it. <laughs>
bad luck protection. Yeah. I kind of forgot that today was Tuesday and that we raid on Tuesdays. <laughs> So that's a fun shape, and then these ones can be the shadow color for for that. Happy raid day. Mujik just fed his baby dino. Aww. like Mujik. I feel like if he were real, I would be friends with him. Or at least I would try. Mujik wants to be friends with everyone. Perfect. I'm a someone. I'm part of I'm part of everyone. Okay, I like the shape of these these trees. They're interesting. Maybe for one of the streams, I'll finish up that drawing of Fluff Boy that I did. That I started, like, ages ago. The little sketch. <laughs> I'll do it for you. I'll make sure I let you know when I'm gonna do it. Maybe that'll be the one after I finish up this drawing. For those who don't know, Fluff Boy is one of my characters in World of Warcraft. He is a Pandaren Death Knight. Um, and I love him very much. Which, um, oh, all I can think of when you say Fluff Boy is him sleeping under the gluttonous feast from Shadowlands. Yeah. <laughs> Fluff Boy's lore is the greatest thing ever created. Uh, I'm glad that you like it. So, he is a lumberjack, or he was in life because Death Knights have died and were brought back. Uh, he fell asleep and died when a tree fell on him and then he came back as a death knight and they're like oh you were a great hero and he's like what and they're like what and but he's like okay this is fine uh and he really liked the necro lords in shadowlands because uh with the abomination limb slappy hands ability he can grab food without having to get up
that is the the fluff boy lore. <laughs> it is all how it should be. <laughs> Gosh, I love drawing trees. They just come in so many fun shapes and colors and textures. And you can do like whatever you want. bunch of little rectangles for the bark. looking at the time right now and uh, I went a little bit over again today but I had a lot of fun working on this um, I am going I am planning on streaming more Dragon Age on Thursday afternoon ish because um, I want to play it again and then I'm going to have my usual Friday art stream and I'm gonna consider adjusting my schedule so more people can hang out. Um, but we'll see We'll see when that happens, but that's the current plan right now. Uh, I will be continuing working on this on my Friday stream. We're, I feel like I've been working way faster on this than on the last one, which um, some of you weren't here to see it. So let me open up the, the Fox. Uh, so this is the last one that I did uh, on stream. So this is um, kind of the level of polish that I'm going to be aiming for with the um, laundry mouse illustration. And then there will be a third one. I don't know what animal I want. It's going to be either something aquatic or something at night. But that's the current plan. Oh, thank you, Cad. Um, and thank you everybody for hanging out while I draw. Um, I have a lot of fun when people show up and we get to chat about whatever. Um, and you give me good ideas too, like giving him a little braid and putting tiny socks on the laundry line. So I hope you have a good rest of your day. I will see several of you during uh, during raid, and I hope that the rest of you can make it um, when I stream next time. Bye.